So, today, I'll be reviewing not one but two movies that are the same movie. Intergalactic and Mama Duke 2022. I know these two movies are very different. Because I noticed that Intergalactic was originally meant to be a television series. It became an adult animated music television special. Created by Kid Cudi. Who happened to be... A rapper, singer, soul record, record producer, and actor. I know he's been praised by everyone for his style of, of rapping. It's just what he was. But I'm not going to waste any damn time and focusing how the two movies are like on the scales of justice. The plot is simple. Jabari is a, is a streetwear clad teenager living in Manhattan. He's on the cusp of real success. He gets a chance to run with his new neighbour, Mido. But Jabari figures out how can he make space for the love of his life. However, the plot is very interesting because I noticed that Mido is his girlfriend, Jimmy Jabari's best friend who is a drug dealer. Tyrone, I'm guessing Kai is also one of his, he's also Jimmy's best friend. Carmen is Jabari's ex-girlfriend. Karina is Mido's best friend. Reed was an art dealer working for Mr. Rager. Nadia and Jordan are those two guys. The boxing coach happens to be their instructor. Len is a co-worker working for Jabari. Downtown Pat lives in downtown Manhattan. Ellie is Jabari's older sister. Sydney and Hugie, Hugie Mover, were like a lot in common. I know that everyone's involved in it because I know Timmy Chalamet who was originally involved in Stranger Things, might be involved in the upcoming uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory reboot movie titled Wonka. Yeah. For another reason, for Marmaduke, it's also very similar to, to, the, to this one that will come out months later. The plot involves around... I know this movie is based on a comic strip that David did in 1954 by Brad Addison. The mom, when Mamadou takes a cannonball dive in his in his home at a backyard pool during Billy's birthday, he causes a tidal wave that would go viral in what Guy has managed to transform Mamadou into a top dog of his own. Since no one is sure about Guy allowing Mamadou to enter the dog competition, but Phil protests that the whole one million dollars thing is the prize money, and he makes an agreement to prove he has to go and train to put some international resistance to prove they can make progress. Then, what King Tut was trying to warn him not to do this. I got him confused with that Egyptian god, the same name, who is Team Tut and Carmoon. Yeah, speaking of that, when I learned that some evil Afghan hound named Zeus is plotted to pretty much brainwash them all. The biggest problem is it didn't live up to what Entergalactic did a better job. Although the problem is what's the similarities between these movies? I know they're identically the same movie because I've learned there's something ridiculous about the plot twist. The plot twist within the climax of the last moments of the movie, they will perform a unique act with Marmaduke being before doing a cowboy act with King Toot that would please the audience including Z himself. I'm guessing there's something redeemable about Z because he's a Chinese cat means that he had psychic powers. How interesting. Yeah. But what happens? But it's revealed that the final results claim Zeus to be the winner but Marmaduke uncovers Zeus's owner that rigged the scores. But when Zeus is disqualified, he tries to take back the trophy. But Marmaduke stops him. But Zeus knocks over a platform, causing Marmaduke to be killed. Or for real, while trying to push his arms out of the way to, to sacrifice himself. Although, everyone thought Marmaduke died. But he's probably still alive. After a while, the security put him to the dog pound. So I'm guessing Zeus got arrested. And the plot twist... What just happened in the plot twist? I know the plot twist of this movie 
What happened at the very end of this plot twist? I know what happened in the plot twist of this movie. Hmm, the plot twist. What went wrong with this plot twist? What I'm getting really wrong about the plot twist. It's so bad, it's horrible plot twist. There's something horrible that I can imagine. That both the animated adaptations were negatively received. But the plot twist, all I can say is, the plot twist of this movie is that Zeus's owner happens to be a, dr a cross-dressing owner of his own kind. But soon discovered that it's the same person that trained Zeus that disguised himself to be the owner who broke from prison was an absolute disastrously plot twist. Yeah, like I said, the CGI animation of this movie, it just looks like it was stolen from Dr. Seuss's The Lorax, which came out 10 years ago. I'm thinking the only redeemable quality about The Lorax's animation is that it had better CGI animation than this one. Oh, scrap that. Let's not forget Chicken Run. Because I know Chicken Run perfected this formula of how you could beat cra animal cruelty by a long shot. And then this one could do. And for Madagascar, it's all about being wild and being a wild animal of your own. I'm not talking about the country. I'm talking about the movie from 2005 that I watched on Animat. It perfected its form. They went Marmaduke couldn't. And finally, the biggest nail in this cover that Marmaduke couldn't survive is that the 1967 Disney retired Jungle Book, which is the final animated film Walt Disney's ever done, had a much better storyline than this piece of garbage. Although almost it could have returned to reprise his role, but Pete Davidson would take his place, and this movie was better than the other one. But for Intergalactic, Intergalactic is very different because it takes inspiration from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet and mix it together to a modernized story involving around Jabari and his quest of meeting up with Mido. When Jabari and Mido first met each other, they were like in a chemistry plot hole of discovering why he noticed that he's created his own villain called uh, Mr. Rager. And he was a graffiti artist who realized that Mr. Rager was his worst nightmare that would do the worst things that would happen to me. It's kind of traumatic in its bad qualities. But there's one thing I could give the animation for. I praise the CGI animation that used 2D effects. Like in hand-drawn animation. Then what Marmaduke's depiction of CGI animation is just ugly as hell. But this one is a lot better. The, the, the movements are a lot more fragile and flexible enough that the movements of this animation, the animation of Marmaduke looks like it had stolen animation from Hotel Transylvania, Transformania and Alan's Valley too. But what I'm guessing the real winner has to be Intergalactic. I praise the soundtrack for being more diverse. The Marmaduke's soundtrack is boring. But I've learned this one's the best animated movie in 2022. The Marmaduke 2022 could be the worst animated movie of 2022. I get Intergalactic a 10 out of 10 for being such a cool movie. And more is, when you want to be a graffiti artist, you better have to win your girlfriend's heart to make friends with your new pals. But Marmaduke's lesson, why would you summon a crossdresser disguise himself as a dog trainer to pretty much brainwash everyone with an Afghan dog? Well, that would be nothing compared to how Spirit Stan of the Cimarron did a better job than this piece of shit that I can't stand. Spirit had better animation and much more rough hand-drawn details than Marmaduke could do. Yeah, I know this Kaiga Mustang Stan is 20 years old. Even Spirit and Tame's animation looks really good, but the plot isn't that great. So, I actually like this movie because it was fun, but 
This one was that good. I'm guessing Marmaduke is the exact opposite to Spirit Stanley of the Cimarron. Because it's quite of an enjoyable movie that I loved. But this one isn't that great. The characters weren't likeable. The songs are bad and the plot isn't that good because they stole this from what I saw in Kipo. You know in Kipo, it perfects the formula of how to go wild and taming innocent animals. This one doesn't. And this movie is where it's got bitten by the dust of Edgalactic. So, you know what I learned? I would give Marmaduke an absolute 2 out of 10. Because it's just a bunch of bullshit that blazes your pants off. Yeah. It's not what I want to see anymore. So, the winner is Antigalactic and the loser is Marmaduke 2022. So I'm guessing this is how you make a better movie with Spider-Verse animation. That this one would use stolen animation from Holter Transylvania. And they stole this from Lorax and even Adam's family too. Yeah, I ran out of time and I can't learn my lesson. Oh, actually, the A-stop of this lesson is, you should never send a dog to do the work of a graffiti artist. You know what I'm getting? Planet of the Apes vibes. Yeah, I have one final word to say. With that out of the way, I'm going to give you like a head start of like the last, you know, probably 10 seconds. That, without doubt, all I can say is, Cheerio for all you now, as I might be doing my next review of, you know, in, after I leave Essex, I'll make a review of Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, as I promised I'm celebrating Halloween. I mean, I'm promising I could coincide with Halloween itself. Yeah, but, you know what I'm going to say? I have to say my final words from now on. If you like to hit the if you hit the like button, subscribe. All I can say is goodbye.